<laughs> and this is the last commercial special we have to do before we can caught up to the current one that's going to be released this month. Yes, we are a thankful sponsor. Now it's time for commercials. And to these messages after these messages. Goodbye. Back at ten thousand. Think of a better one later. <laughs> I guess I couldn't get here as a fourth of this, so they just got. Oh. 
Oh. While this campaign was a big hit and ran for an impressive eight years, it was eerily similar to an SNL sketch called Mr. Bill. It was literally the same thing. Mr. Bill is a high-pitched puppet who just wants to have a good time, but the narrator, who's just a pair of hands and a mean bully named Sluggo, always wants to make his life a living hell. Oh, that <laughs> you bought last night was real expensive. No, but I'm fine. Sorry, Mr. Bill, but we'll have to sell the house. Oh. For so long, I would show other kids this hilarious show, and they'd always say, Oh, Mr. Bill is like Pizza Head. And I'd say, No, you son of a bitch. Pizza Head is like Mr. Bill. It drove me insane that all my friends were laughing at Pizza Head without knowing it was a complete rip-off Mr. Bill. But after doing some research, I found something out. Pizza Head was created by Walter Williams, one of oh. the guys who created, you guessed it, Mr. Bill. Yeah. Here is actual footage of my reaction to that. I bring this up just in case someone <laughs> was as dumb as me not to realize this. With that said... These ads are pretty damn funny. <laughs> yeah. I really have no reason why other than they're just violent as hell. He will cut you in half. Oh. Oh. Remember, this is the age of the crash <laughs> test dummy toys and chopping up your adorable board game characters. Of course this was a big hit. Oh, look, pizza head. Slip this on. See you next time. My favorite is just when they destroy the set at the end of each one. As if to say, yeah, we don't ruin the effects, but who cares? Just break shit. See you in the next lifetime. Let's be honest, though. These don't even need a story. Just seeing a cute little character get beaten up is really all that's necessary. Which is why I propose we don't even give him a story. We just heard him. Give me more time to advertise in pizza. Hey, you two. What are you doing? Oh, we're just about to go. Hey, it's some pattern or something. It's a hot oil. I love that place. You mind if I come along? You know, I even have new skateboard toy for kids. You don't think some crazy antics might happen from that joke? Woo! Oh! <laughs> 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 Psychos. Psychos. Oh. Pizza Hut Pizza is part of a complete breakfast. What? I don't know. I was just so distracted by the hilarious carnage. Oh. See you next time. Man, what a cheesy ass. Clap on. Clap off. Here's another one many of us in the 80s and 90s grew up with. If you were the laziest shit ever, the clapper was a godsend. All I had to do was clap, and the lights turned on and off. Which, of course, made redneck birthday parties very difficult. Come on, honey, blow it out. <laughs> So the commercial is its catchy as hell jingle. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off, the clapper. Cute, but that's not what I love it for. I love it for its life before the clapper demonstration. No joke, this is how the commercial starts. Honey, turn off the lights. Has this ever happened to you? Jesus, it's awful! What were we taped then? <laughs> Seriously, if you didn't know what this was an ad for, would you even guess the problem? Has this ever happened to you? I guess I do like to grab lamps like a dildo a lot. Presenting <laughs> what? Clapper. No clapping won't help, it'll only encourage it. Look, you gotta put in some urgency. Has this ever happened to you? Look, I'll find whatever saves me from that. Turn on and off just by clapping. Clap on the music. It was a whole step to get here. We didn't <laughs> yeah. have a DoorDash app for this kind of thing. Clap on. Oh, thank God. I'm in time to see the commercial for the even more useless product. <laughs> the Clapper resets to help protect your home. Leave your appliances plugged into the Clapper, and your lights will go on. Oh, shit. It's a Clapper house. These people are poor as shit. They even made a smart Clapper. As if to say, yeah, even we know the originals for dumbasses. How smart can it be? <laughs> I mean, I'm really stupid. I 
clearly getting aroused by the <laughs> What's up with that face? Yeah. Laugh twice to turn one appliance on or off. Three times for another. It knows the difference. Is this really keep mouth open worthy? Oh, wait, I should use that line from a guy dick handling his lamp. Clap on. Clap on. Clap on. Clap on. The smart clap. It's a catchy jingle, but a tacky and weird as hell commercial. Clap on. Clap on. Wow. Oh no, not one of these again. Well, I can guess why the comments were turned off on this. This is for a product called I never watched these ads, product. but and if that name alone uh, why do these the things again? Again. I thought was baby brats not disturbing enough for you. Well somebody threw unicorns into the mix and made somebody I never want to meet happy. Hey Internet, have you ever wanted to see My Little Pony crossed with Rainbow Bright as a shiza stripper? <laughs> of course you do. You're the Internet. Oh, I'm sure some sites will take it off your hands. As long as they can film it being taken off your hands. Uh. <laughs> crazy, insanely concerned, same ballpark. <laughs> snapping you have hooves yeah you want to know the most ironic thing after all this literal shit being advertised i poop my poop 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 i poop she doesn't even poop what she just dances and sings about being a doll that can poop but never actually poops oh uh, can honestly say why are you doing my doll that that really surprise. doesn't do what what maybe that's where the surprise of the title comes from Why would you name her Poopsie if she doesn't poop? It's like naming Luke, Luke Skywalker like he has nothing to do with Anakin. Take all of it. It's like naming Luke a Luke Skywalker but he has nothing. To, but he's not Anakin's son. He's nothing to do with Anakin. Good hot instant cheeses, these Folger ads from the 60s or something else. The setup is always the same. The husband in a marriage doesn't like his wife's coffee, so she quickly buys Folgers in order to please him. Anything that sounds shitty? It is, but <laughs> yeah. just listen to the delicate way these husbands let them know. You make me feel very unlikely, Miss Naughton. Go barbecue. I still say don't serve your awful coffee with my steak. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Wow. Also, who the hell serves coffee in the bar? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's one of the nicer ones. Take a listen to some of these others. How can such a pretty wife make such bad coffee? I know we should have the receipt for her. I heard that. Oh, God. It's our anniversary. Why so glum? Well, it's your coffee. Again? Honey, your coffee just doesn't taste any good. Oh, this guy's a sensitive asshole. Look at him holding your hand. As if to say, it's not your fault your breasts hog all the fat from your brain. Wow. Very looking so happy. Oh, oh, happiness is a vacation. <laughs> Away from your coffee. Was there a bad coffee epidemic back then? Polio? We'll get past it. Influenza? We've gotten through worse. Coffee. And coffee locked down until a divorce lawyer is safely escorted to every home. Is the coffee all right? Mm-mm. <laughs> you mean it's as bad as yesterday? No improvement at all? So you're not going to stop having affairs with our <laughs> next-door neighbor, Joe? <laughs> Clearly coffee's the problem in this relationship, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, what does Colonel Sanders' Pringles <laughs> Roosevelt have to say about this? Oh, what? Ladies, I've set out a brand new, can't-miss, husband-pleasing coffee. Each one comes with a free mistress, <laughs> guaranteed to look more attractive <laughs> than you. Why, Jim again? You should have heard him this morning. Mary... Your coffee is as undrinkable as ever. Oh, and Jim's usually so nice. Sounds like a goddamn sweetheart. You get the point. This neighborhood doesn't have a coffee problem as much as an entitled dickhole problem. I love this one dude who can barely look her in the face after she has the nerve to say he's kind of acting like a prick. Tony, your coffee's undrinkable. Pretty harsh. Well, so's your coffee. You know, the girls down at the office make better coffee on their hot plate. See you later. 
is just in millions of husbands impaled on their coffee makers. Wonderful anniversary. What? Thank you for the flowers. You're welcome, darling. But if you could do one thing for me. Go down on you? Try to do something about your coffee. Oh, then he got it figured out. This guy rejects his wife's morning kindness, throws it on her garden, and then has the balls to point and yell at her like she's the one being difficult. <gasps> this coffee is criminal. She's an escaped convict. I'm sorry, honey, but this just won't do. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to. Would you get that? Get what? That would be the joy. Uh, she gonna go kill the guy because it's okay. Do, do, do. Yes. Oh my God! Not you! <laughs> oh, uh, what? Is it Wilkins again? Yep, uh, of course. <laughs> of course it's Wilkins. <laughs> okay. Okay, I did not see actually Tamara make out with a puppet. Master and fix 
Stop saying that. No, don't Dick don't revive me of that. We show up on time, ah. quickly diagnose the problem, and fix it without breaking the bank. A good plumber mm. should always show up on time and have a distractingly dirty name. Yeah, these ads are really great. They show slowly, but surely they are in on the joke, and they honestly have an adorable way of utilizing it. There's nothing else to say, but who doesn't love Dick? If you don't know Dick, they call <laughs> Stop. So it's gonna sound weird, but there was a time when cereal commercials really were cereals. They had to be continues and created contests where you could impact the outcome. But by far the one I remember most was Green Captain Crunch. Because it had five parts. I guess children's series could be commercials anymore, so they made commercials children's series. You see the head of the Soggies, an evil robot named Squish the Songmaster. Captain Crunch has lore. Try setting a trap for him. Something suspicious here. The funniest thing is they try to make it engaging while still selling the product, and it is such um. an awkward matchup. I swear I did not edit any of this. Will Christmas be fun? Nothing can stop me now. Captain Crunch is a crunchy part of a balanced breakfast. We just start treating this like it's a commercial shit get real bad. Imagine if another big two be continued <laughs> had that treatment. <laughs> Levi's. Actually, to make it so epic, I wouldn't be shocked if they had a Lord of the Rings style narration in this. Cereal has changed. I feel it in the milk. I smell it in the crispy. Much that once was is song, but now none lives and make it a complete breakfast. Captain Crunch gets trapped behind a door, and you at home have to follow the clues inside the cereal boxes to figure out how to free it. It was pretty clever. And what about Crunch Power that locks delicious taste? The breakfast is doomed. Buddy, you have weird life goals. The breakfast is doomed. Tomorrow, run. Who can't snacks? I'm you get a chance to win a $100 share of the million dollar reward in the Free the Captain sweepstakes. You better hurry, they're gonna start milk boarding him next week. Come in, Captain. Yes, you're safe. We have an idea to free you. Functionity. Listen up, sock face. Hey, there's no need for slurs. He uses the government funding for breakfast pump. You don't need to negotiate with sentient terrorists, no. He I mean a real captain, that's an admiral's hat.
Gilbert Godfrey passing this year, but I figured I gotta talk about this one. Godfrey plays a smoke detector teaching kids about fire safety. Admittedly, it is pretty funny getting someone with that kind of voice to play a fire alarm. Who are you? See more smoke! Smoke detector! <laughs> we... Basically, Pennywise, if I was left on the grill and smashed with a spatula. <laughs> I'd be Gilbert Godfrey. You were, you were, you were a master. What does that mean, Seymour? It means I'm tripping balls. What is up with that face he's making? <laughs> the last look a deep fried hamburger helper makes. It's so unnerving. How many smoke detectors do you have in your home? Is there one outside your bedroom? Is there? It should be. You'll see more of me later. In that reoccurring nightmare where Pac-Man's a clown. Let's be honest, though, we all know where we really want this to go if a random kid heard Gilbert Godfrey from, well, really anything. Whoa, who are you? Seymour Smoke. Smoke Detector. Wow, well, what are you doing here? A talent agent is sitting in his office. A family walks in. That talent agent goes, what kind of an act do you do? Then the father shits on the floor. The mother shits on the floor. The dog pisses and shits on the floor. What clip is this from? It's <laughs> no masterpiece, but does leave an impression. And you know a lot of that is from the loud mouth wonder himself. So whenever I see it or smell it, I make this noise to warn you. <laughs> <laughs> something called eagle chips you think they have something like an eagle but nope it's a disembodied face <laughs> hi i'm face i'll be your choice of death tonight <laughs> oh this is creepy because he's creepy and he's and, and it's a cgi face Yeah. I laced them with fresh molly this morning. That might explain some of the things I'm seeing. <laughs> I'll all shake his face. And also turn this app. What the hell else am I even supposed to say? This is a product that went from the odd couple advertising it. Eagle chips are the quintessence of taste and crunch. Each chip should be savored. To goddamn this. Hi, I'm Face. I don't like it, but I remember it, so there's that, I guess. Just ugh. Just, just ugh. Eagle snacks. What you be, your face? Never play this again. Yeah. Oh, oh, a Japanese ad. Oh my god, this has to be one of the best long, long running commercials. It's from Japan and it's advertising a candy called Sikaru Gummies. It starts off humorous enough with a couple sharing candy, but then discover a man eating a long, long piece of candy, immediately turning the woman off. Long, long, long. Oh, they just keep going with it. In the following commercial, she sees him at a different location, and the song once again plays. Long, long <laughs> Super Bowl ads take notice. This is called funny. You used to be this. Not surprisingly, though, these ads go very long and very satisfying. As he shows up as a delivery man at her door. Long, long. Somebody order a dick ray. <laughs> what? Uh, I really need to be showing this to people. Oh my god, he's the delivery guy? What, you want long long man? No. Yes. It's so long. Well, come on, get over here. Let's see what happens. No. Seems. Uh. Uh. <laughs> 
for the next one. What's it all about the ring, man? Wait, was it all about him? Was it not about her? I'm so confused. I, was it about him or was it about her? I'm so confused. Because if they made it look like it was about her, but now it's making it look like it was about the husband. 